For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the NCAA cheese. Today, we got a lot more information about the upcoming EA Sports College Football 25 game as there was a huge trailer drop, and they also updated their website with a bunch of new information as far as what to expect uh, as far as features and stuff like that coming out in the game, but none of that stuff was really in the trailer. So if you're one of the 70,000 people that were watching the trailer live on their YouTube channel, you might have missed or might have been disappointed by the fact that there wasn't more information in the trailer video but there was a lot more information on their actual website so i'm gonna get into all that but before i do if you guys are going to continue to bring you guys the latest information on ncaa uh, college football as this information comes out please make sure to be a subscriber hit like button let me know in the comment section other than that's going to get right in the video now as far as the trailer that dropped uh which was kind of supposed to be the big reveal at least they called it the reveal trailer it didn't really reveal much all it really revealed was a lot of pageantry when it comes to uh, the you know the stuff that uh, you expect with college football things like um, you know the, the the atmosphere which is really always what set college football games apart from uh, the NFL is there's just so much more um, you know rivalry stuff there's so much more stuff when it comes to the mascots to the fans in the crowd um, to you know the planes going overhead I mean there was a lot of stuff shown that really just shows you know that they're always trying to updo the atmosphere for college football because that's really what it is I mean they had the bands on the field they had uh, you know so much stuff going on but ultimately this um, this this entire uh, trailer really didn't show any new information about features, about highlights, about the game modes, none of that. It really just showed uh, what the immersive experience of this game is supposed to be. So I went over and I checked out the website from yesterday where you could pre-order the game and there's a bunch of new information on here. Now the first feature that they go over is true college gameplay. It says powered by a wide range of player ratings that fluctuate throughout a game, which is kind of weird. I've never seen player ratings change in a game. Team tiers and new in-game passing mechanics. Now that is, I mean, it's hard to, uh, to suggest that it's going to be that much different than Madden. But when you hear new in-game pass mechanics, it almost makes you wonder if they're going to be. It's going to be a completely different passing style from what's currently in Madden, which I think a lot of people are pretty happy with. Which a lot of people are pretty comfortable with. It's going to be interesting to see if they completely change that for this game, which was always when I played, you know, the old NCAA games. That was always the biggest difference between Madden and NCAA. Is passing was way more difficult because you don't see as many great quarterbacks in college. It's, it's There's so few great quarterbacks in the world, and it felt like they always tried to, um, you know, incorporate that in the game. I mean, in college, I remember college games, it was all about running, like, options and stuff like that, which was really fun, but you had to do stuff like that because there wasn't a ton of uh, passing ability on every single team. So it really wouldn't surprise me if it, if it kind of goes back to that formula. But ultimately, when I see new in-game passing mechanics, it really makes me wonder how different is it going to be for Madden? Is it going to be so different that people will struggle uh, when it comes to picking up this game for the first time, thinking it's going to be just like Madden, it's going to be nothing like that. So that's very interesting. Fast-paced gameplay reflecting the true t depth of college football. You know, a lot of times there's a lot of stuff that's just lip service. Um, I don't necessarily, uh, you know, know what to make of that. Um, but when you get a look at you also get a look at some of the, uh, the gameplay, actual gameplay clips. You got Travis Hunter here diving into the end zone, what it looks like. Um, and, you know, the graphics look really strong. Until you get to the next picture here where you see the wear and tear system. And then the Michigan, I mean, from the front, they don't look nearly as good as they do from the back, which is something that I think has to do with the realism of the actual characters, uh, of the actual person themselves, let alone, like, the uniforms look great. Uh, you can see, like, light reflecting off the helmet and stuff like that. But then when you get to the next picture, like I said, from the front, they the, the, the people don't look quite as clear or as um, as realistic as from behind. That's something I've seen from a lot of pictures is that they, you know, the graphics look really strong, but they just don't look as strong um, when compared to the, the front and the back. Like the human element, this looks a little bit off, but that's not something that, you know, I, I think is necessarily something to worry about. Now, they also have something called the, man, the wear and tear system. It says manage your player's health limit fatigue, assess risk of injury, and avoid on-field mistakes by using strategic substitutions to ensure your players 
are at their best when it counts. Now, that's not anything that's different than in Madden now. You, if you play CFM, you have to, to, to you know, the, there's there's several ways to do the exact same thing to manage your players' uh, fatigue and health and stuff like that when it comes to, like, choosing whether to put them through practice or not or, you know, things like that, the intensity of practice. There's all types of stuff like that in games, in, in Madden already, so that's not too different. Then it says pre-snap recognition. Get the intel you need at the line so you can read the field and make the right decisions when it matters the most now i don't know if they're talking about a specific system that you're gonna have to go through i mean you can do that now in madden you can read a defense everybody has to try to read a defense that doesn't sound too dissimilar unless they're talking about something specific that's going to give you cues that's new to the game which i'm not really familiar with uh it also says home field advantage now this here sounds like there's something they're taking straight from Madden 25. It says the host team has a tangible gameplay advantage in every matchup. Test your squad's road game composure as you face various levels of distractions like screen shaking, missing pre-play icons, and moving play art, which is all stuff that's in Madden 25. So for people that wanted this game to be uh, incredibly different than Madden, nothing I see here actually looks any different than what's already in Madden, with the exception of what they're saying in new game, uh, in-game passing mechanics being different now next up they have the iconic atmospheres tab which i already talked about about how the trailer was really all about atmosphere i mean everything and it just felt like they were trying to show you that um the, how they basically imported um the atmosphere of college football into the game and properly and it seemed that way like i said it definitely got a reaction from me uh but the first thing it says was pageantry and traditions and i, I even used the word pageantry uh, when I was uh, before I even started to read this, it says revel in the sights and sounds that electrify college football stadiums every Saturday with traditional team runouts, rivalry rituals, which I could tell was in the the trailer quite a bit, synchronized crowd chants, loudness meters, as well as real game day audio, fight songs, and of course mascots. It feels like wait, it, it'll feel like home everywhere you look. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's the big thing. And that's something that Madden's always failed at is um, the presentation of the game, especially when it comes to the audience. You can hear they say loudness meters, uh, fight songs. They said that synchronized crowd chants. I mean, all that stuff, that is really what, what is missing in Madden as well is the immersiveness. Uh, next up, it says commentary and broadcast. We all know that uh, this has been probably the earliest leaked information. Kirk Herbstreit, Chris Fowler, um, as they call marquee matchups, which they said um, only the the top you know bowl games and stuff like that, or the most important games are going to be are going to be voiced by those guys. Where Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, and Reese Davis take the mic for all of your other games. So there was some information leaked about um, different uh, broadcast teams. But now you know exactly how it's going to be. It's going to be Chris Fowler and Kurt Herstreet for the big games. Every other game is going to be Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, and Reese Davis. Now, that's pretty much it for that tab. There's one more tab here, which is the, um, it's obviously a really important tab, and that's game modes. It says, bring home the natty as a created coach in Dynasty or the Heisman player as a, or the Heisman as a player in Road to Glory, which we all kind of expected these game modes to be the same in return. Uh, but these are the only, actually, there's a few here that they're going to mention, but Dynasty is um, obviously, that's your typical in Madden, it's like uh, CFM. Dynasty says, create a coach and build a powerhouse college football program from the ground up. Establish your coaching staff. Recruit the best talent. Utilize the transfer portal, which is brand new, and watch your program ascend to the sports pantheon. Now, I have a thought when it comes to Dynasty mode. I'm sure it's going to be pretty similar to CFM and Madden. Uh, when it comes to like the transfer portal, I'm sure you're going to have to make sure that your players are happy and they'll have like a confidence meter or something just like they do in CFM and Madden. And if they're not happy, they might be in danger of transferring. You know what I mean? And by being happy, I mean, if they're not starting or, you know, if you're not winning or something like that, that's probably going to be uh, what the portal mode is going to look like. But there's still we still got to wait to see what information comes out about that. NIL deals. I don't see them mentioning the NIL deals uh, when it comes to Dynasty. So that's going to be interesting, too. Are they going to leave that part out? They didn't mention it there, which is definitely a glaring omission, uh, something that we'll probably get more information about in the future. Next up, you got Road to Glory. Live the life of a student athlete with your creative player and take home the Heisman as you build an unforgettable college football player legacy. Manage your weekly schedule, GPA, and your image. 
uh, earn coach trust and get more playing time or use the portal system to get time or get the time and the glory you deserve. So they're going to integrate the portal system clearly into the, I mean, the portal system mentioned twice. It's going to be big in this game, but they're going to integrate that into the road to glory as well. Uh, I think it's interesting. It says manage your weekly schedule, GPA, and your image. That'll probably just be little tasks you do here and there. You'll probably have like a social media account, you know, on the right side of the screen like we've seen in Madden other games before. Uh, but ultimately, you know, I don't think there's, I didn't really see anything there that sounded too groundbreaking. Next up, you have Ultimate Team. Build your dream team of college football stars and legends. Play solo challenges or head-to-head -head seasons and take on the toughest contests. Test your roster and your skills in formats like College Football Ultimate Team, Champs, and Champs Gauntlet. Now, um, that right there, I don't know what Champs and Champs Gauntlet is. Uh, but that sounds very similar to, to Madden Ultimate Team as far as solo challenges, head-to-head -head seasons. Um, so, you know, I don't expect something too different there. If you play Ultimate Team in Madden, you're probably going to be able to play this right away. But it does sound like Champs and Champs Gauntlet. I don't know if that's, um, you know, Draft Champs or, you know, what that's going to be. But uh, those are two modes that are going to have to be found out more information about. So there's a lot of new information here, but it's also bringing up a lot of new questions. The last piece here is Road to the College Football Playoff. Experience a new way to play competitively and present your favorite team in the road to college football playoff. Climb the pole by upsetting the toughest opponents. Make it to the playoff and vie for a national championship. Now, I don't know what that is, but it almost sounds like regs head-to-head -head, only with some sort of tiered system where you could actually uh, move up, make the playoffs, and buy for national championship. That might be something that's part of the dynasty mode, but since it's not listed under dynasty mode, it almost makes me wonder if it's going to be a head-to-head -head system, uh, which is a little bit more um, tier-based and a little bit more, uh, you know, you can actually progress a little bit differently, because that's what it sounds like, because it's climb to pull by upsetting the toughest opponents. So, you know, that's that sounds like what that is. Maybe there'll be like a top, you know, it's no different than head-to-head -head now as far as there's a top 100 leaderboard and stuff like that. Although, obviously, in college football, it's usually, what, 25? So, it'll be interesting to see uh, what that is. But, um, but yeah, I mean, that's that's definitely, that gives me, uh, there's a lot of questions being raised, but you, you, you don't necessarily get all the answers from this. But you get a lot, and you get a lot of teaser information, and, you know, we're a couple months away, but there's still a lot of information to come out. So, I'm going to end the video there, but if you guys want to see more videos like this, as always, please make sure to be a subscriber and hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. We should out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.